Hey, this is 8.4, Interpret and Evaluate Algebraic Expression. Uh, I know you have done this before. It's probably been a while. So let's take a look at it together. So a variable is what I have pointed to right here. That's my letter. So a variable could really be anything that you want it to be. And we're generally going to stick with letters. So you have a lot of different choices, and in this case, they're going to make the choice for you. You're not going to pick it out yourself. Uh, you can find this on, around page 253 in your book if you'd like to look at, at it in your book. Now, when we're talking about algebra and we're throwing multiplication and there are other ways that we can show multiplication other than the normal like x times sign. We can show it with a little dot, which we've talked about, so that means 5 times c. We can show it with parentheses. So if there's a number or a letter right next to parentheses, that means we're going to multiply. And a letter and a number next to each other means multiplication. So all of these means 5 times C. As you can see, the C accidentally got that way, but that's okay. We're going to look down here next. And it says evaluate. Evaluate means you're just going to solve it. So if 16, what is 16 plus B if? B equals 25. So all we're going to do is we're going to take 25 and we're going to put it in for B. So we're going to rewrite it. We have 16 plus 25 equals 41. Now let's try this one down here. We have 6 and then we have X. A letter and a number next to each other means multiplication. So I'm going to go ahead and write out multiplication. X equals 12. So we're going to put 12 in for X. 6 times 12 is 72. Down here, this is going to be two sets. We have 5a plus 4, a letter and a number next to each other's multiplication. a equals 3, so we're going to put 3 in for a. So I have 5 times 3 plus 4. Now we're going to use orders of operation to solve. So multiplication comes before addition, so we're going to take 5 times 3 is 15. So I have 15 plus 4 equals 19. Sometimes they only give us letters, and we have to make sure we plug the number in for the right letter. So Z minus M if Z equals 9 and M equals 4. Z is 9, so we're going to plug in 9 for Z, and then M equals 4. So we're going to put 4 in for M. 9 minus 4 equals 5. Yes, I want you to write out what you're doing. So that way I can understand what happened in your head if you put it the wrong way. And you will remember what you did because it's written down. 6w if w equals 4. A letter and a number next to each other means multiplication. So we're going to put 4 in for w. That means we're going to do 6 times 4, which is 24. Okay, this next one is a little bit more intense here. I have 4x squared times y when x equals 3 and y equals 0 0.5. So this is a lot of multiplication because everything is right next to each other. So I'm going to start with 4 times x is 3. Then we have to make sure we put the square next to it times 0 0.5. And we're going to use orders of operation to solve this. And I wrote a little big, so I'm going to write off to the side here just a second. So I'm going to start. There's no parentheses, but there's exponents. 3 squared means we're taking 3 times 3, so that's 9. So I'm going to rewrite it over here because I wrote too big. So 4 times 9 times 0 0.5. We're going to start left to right and work our way over. 4 times 9 is 36. And 36 times 0.5 is 18. So our answer is 18. Okay. Our next one, we have 1.8c plus 32 if c equals 30. So 30 is going to go in for c. A letter and a number next to each other's multiplication. So I have 1.8 times 30 plus 32. According to order of its operation, we multiply first. And I'm going to go ahead and type that one into my calculator. 1.8 times 30. I get 54. So 54 plus 32. And I get 86. Okay, let's look up over here. 
and we're in the check understanding. And I'm going to zoom in just a little more so I can see this. There we go. This one's pretty small, but it says 6x over 5 when x equals 20. So we're going to put 20 in for x. A letter and a number next to each other means multiplication. So 6 times 20 over 5. We have to solve 6 times 20 first. So that's 1. 20 over 5. And over 5, another way to write 120 over 5 is just taking 120 and dividing it by 5. It's the same exact thing. It's just written a different way. And when we do that, we get 24 as our answer. Let's look at our first um, word problem. The expression K over H shows the cost per person of splitting a restaurant bill K among eight people. So instead of writing K over eight, we could have done K divided by eight. Evaluate the expression when K equals 72. So we're gonna take 72 and put it in for K. 72 divided by eight equals nine. So the cost is $9. These next ones, these next four, we're going to use the information right here. X equals four and Y equals three. So on this first one, we have a letter and a number next to each other. X is four. So we have three times four minus four. Y is three times three. So three times four is 12. Four times three is 12. And 12 minus 12 is zero. Let's look at this next one. We have an exponent. A letter and a number next to each other means multiplication. So I have 2 times x is 4. And we're going to square that. So we have to square it first. Remember, 4 squared means 4 times 4, which is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. Okay, our next one, we have 30y or 30 over y. So if you don't like it like that, you can always change it into 30 divided by y. y is 3, so I have 30 divided by 3 equals 10. And our last one, 3x, that means I'm going to take 3, x is 4, so 3 times 4. Now on the bottom, I'm going to take 4 times 3, so 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12, and so you equal 1. Okay, we're on what do you remember? Make sure when you're on this page, you're trying it first by yourself before you look at the answers, because we need to see what you remember to do, How if you remember how to do it. Let's take a look at the first four problems. We're going to be using the information right up here. Now I know that a lot of you are going to use your calculator for this, but you still need to write down the process of what you are doing. Let's look at n equals 0 0.75. So that's what we're using to plug in for n on all four of these problems. A letter and a number next to each other means four, multiplication. So I'm going to take 4 times 0 0.75. And I got three. Our next one, we're taking six minus n. So six minus, remember our number's right up here, 0 0.75. And I get 5.25. Next one, we're gonna add 0 0.75 to 12.5. When I do that, I get 13.25. Okay, then we have 0.5n. Remember that's multiplication because a letter and a number next to it is multiplication. So 0.5 times 0.75, I get 0.375.
Oops, I should have circled that whole thing. Sorry. It's 0.375. Let's look at our word problem. To find approximately how many people are equivalent to a given number of kilograms, use the expression 2.2k. So this is the expression we're using. And then this is what we're going to plug in. A letter and a number next to each other means multiplication. So I'm going to take 2.2 .2 times 6.5. And I get 14.3. And since it's a word problem, we do have to label. So let's look back at the question. How many pounds? Oh, so we're labeling it with pounds. Our next one is another word problem. To find the perimeter of a regular octagon, use the expression 8s. A letter and number means multiplication. So I know I'm going to use 8s or 8 times something. Let's figure out what it is. If the side length of a regular octagon is 1.5, oh, so we're going to label by 1.5. We're going to take 8 times 1.5, and we get 12. And since it's a word problem, let's find our label. It says, what is its perimeter in feet? So 12 feet. And our last six questions. Um, our expression is there, and in each problem, it tells us what we're going to plug in. So we have 6w. That means a letter and number next to each other means multiplication. So we're going to plug in our 0 0.1 in for w. So 6 times 0 0.1 gives us 0 0.6. 1.4y, when y equals 5, a letter and a number next to each other means multiplication. So I'm going to multiply 1.4 times 5, and I get 7. <clears throat> okay, this one we have some fractions, and we're adding. We're going to put 3 and a half in for x, plus 5 and 1 fourth. So in your calculator, we're going to be typing that in. Remember to use that unit button. That will help you. And 3 and a half plus 5 and 1 fourth is 8 and 3 fourths. Okay, our next one is z to the fifth when z equals 2. I'm going to put 2 in for z, so 2 to the fifth. Remember that 5 doesn't mean we're going to multiply 2 times 5. It means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I'm going to put that in my calculator, and I get 32 as my answer. Our next one, we have 48 over k. k equals 3. So 48 over 3. Or if you like it better, you can do 48 divided by 3. And that gives us 16. Our last one is a little bit complicated. We have to be, there's multiplication and an exponent in it. When g equals 4, so 2.5 times 4 squared, we have to do the exponent first. So I have 2.5. 4 squared is 16. 2.5 times 16, that's going to give us 40. And that's all there is to 8.4.